Well, our project basically used three-dimensional remote sensing to identify butterfly habitat for four butterflies that lived in distinctly different kinds of habitats. And the three-dimensional remote sensing is called LIDAR, which is light detection and ranging. And this is an example of what LIDAR looks like. Basically, it scatters points all over the, uh, all over the uh, landscape and gives you a three-dimensional image of what all of the trees and the topography look like. So we used that data combined with ground measurements that were taken for each of the habitats that these butterflies live in to identify the habitat for each of these butterflies across an incredibly large landscape across an entire mountain range in northern Idaho. And we found out that it actually works. <laughs> you can use three-dimensional remote sensing to identify butterfly habitat. And this is important because if you're trying to restore habitat, had for an endangered butterfly or an endangered insect or any other animal, you can use this to identify that habitat across an entire landscape, not just a single field or a single habitat patch.